Hi, welcome everybody. My name is Robin. I am the president and one of the founders of New Orleans Legacy Association of Bands. And today we are bringing to you the very first episode of Crucial Conflict, which is a space for pre-Katrina, post-Katrina, aka new and true legends to come together, trash talk, hash it out, find solutions, have some fun. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring on our esteemed panelists and they are going to introduce themselves with their names, their schools, and the side they represent. They are going to introduce themselves with their names, their schools. Whoever wanna go first. Uh, I'm sure. Well, I'll start. Um, my name is uh, Matt Francis and uh, I, I hail from the almighty John Fitzgerald Kennedy, formerly located at 5700 Wisner Boulevard, the greatest high school uh, marching band ever in the history of high school marching bandom, uh, class of 1999, um, the snare drum line, yeah. Starting already. Who's next? <laughs> well, I'll go next. Uh, I'm John Van Derrick. Currently, um, I represent the True Legends. Went to Marion Everson Senior High School. Currently, the band director at um, Everson Sci Academy. Um, the great Everson Sci Academy School, led by yours truly. Um, 55, 52 Reed Boulevard. You know how we hold it down for them Commodores. Uh, happy to be on this show, ready to get into some discussion. We can't hear you, brother. Who can read lips? Not me. <laughs> but I, I, I could actually say his part if y'all want. I could say everything uh -oh. that, they, that they should be saying. Say, I think you should say what you got to say, bro. <laughs> I, I can introduce Berger. My name is um, uh, uh, Berger Bush. Hey, Berger, to, why, I went why we Joseph, can't hear you, Berger? I went to Joseph, Joseph F. Clark. I played trombone. I never was the section leader, but I played trombone. <laughs> <laughs> I never was co-section leader. <laughs> I am the voice of marching band in the city of New Orleans. Call me Randy Savage of New Orleans. What sound, Kanisha? Hey, Burley, you really can't hear you, though. He can't hear you, Burger. And I rep Burger Brooks represents the new legends. New, new legends. Burger. We have some technical difficulties with Burger. Um, <laughs> yeah, he left. I didn't gonna come back in. All right, so let's just get the party started because I know he's gonna be able to jump in whenever he can. All right, so right now we have. Well, we actually still have something because John, even though you are representing True Legends, you also teach the current, the post Katrina. So here's the first question that we wanna that we wanna put out there. So why do you think? there is so much animosity between these two eras. Man, you want to go first? <laughs> um, I don't, I don't mind. Um, I, I think, I think it's because of the, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll try to address it from both ends. I think one end is, uh, on our end, which is the true legends. It's just the perceived disrespect um and lack of reverence for the the how great we were um and by we i mean you know the 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 um the true legends the pre-katrina um band era and and the 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 fact that these youngsters are respected because of us i mean you know um and on the end i can i i, I get it like they're young and full of um that young energy and you know you don't want to be told anything. You know everything. Uh, with that being said, um, you know that's 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 one of the issues that people from my era have. There's just the lack of reverence 
uh, for what it is we brought to the table. I think like to um, talk about what Matt said. Me, me teaching in, in this era, and also I'm coming from like the um, true legend era. I think some of the things is, of course, is respect. I think some of the kids that they think they started banning and it started with them and it's ending with them. I think that's one of the biggest problems. And coming up in Banner where we came up, you had to work for everything. Whereas these kids don't work hard like we work hard. And I think they would never realize that unless they were kept to come to like go back to the future and like really see what happened in our era. Um, and I mean, just like we saying that the eighties could say that our era wasn't as strong as their era also. Or the nineties could say that, you know, they they era wasn't the eighties could say that was wasn't the nineties wasn't as strong as they era and so on and so on. But I just think it's that we all it don't matter when I knew back in the days, I still have respect for the seventies, the cats that um marched in the seventies, eighty nineties, and the cats like that came after me. I think the, the problem is these kids today is not taught respect, so they don't know how to respect anything. So I just think that the kids today just don't have the respect. And and living and us coming up when we came up, we worked hard for everything. Like nothing was given to us. If we wanted to become good, like we had to get it how we live. Whereas they have a lot of more resources now. They have a lot of more resources now. So I think that's some of the animosity. Um, I also just think they just, you know, they just don't respect. They just think they, they think they shit don't stink in so many words. And you can't bat the piss out of them. You know what I'm saying? Because it get me fearless. You know what I'm saying? So. so, okay, let me ask this. Because I know pre-Katrina, we also thought our shit didn't stink. So what's the difference between their, not, their shit not stinking and ours? Well, in hindsight, our shit didn't stink. Like, if you're comparing the two shits, they, I mean, I, you know, I was, I was didn't stink. They got loose um, shit. They got loose, they lose shit. And we got, we got hot shit. It's a little bit more. Yeah, I was is, is more solid, you know, shit. And so, of, of course, um, of course, uh, what you say, Robin? She didn't say nothing. Oh, I thought she said them. That's my bad. Nah, I just um, that's what I think it is, though. I just think I, I just I don't know. Just the 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 respect level is just way different. Like just of everything, I I, I don't I don't get it. I, I don't I don't get their way of thinking. I don't I don't know how they look at our era and and what we brought to the table and discount that at all. Burger, you you go on that burger. I don't know if y'all can hear me or not. I you got everything. Y'all can hear y'all can hear me? Yeah, yeah we can like we can see you too now. The pool okay, wi cool, cool, cool. No, this is not pool Wi-Fi. <laughs> I'm doing it on my cell phone. <laughs> and I got my track phone doing this right now. <laughs> my trap, my this is my trap government phone. <laughs> All right, Burger. So the question is, why do you think there's so much animosity between the two eras? Uh, most of it is just, to be honest with you, it's really not no, it's not no riff like you think it is. A lot of them we actually got love and respect for. It's just a lot of them on some real stuff. They don't want to see these kids do better. A lot of them honestly feel like that. And they'll tell you because it's cool for them to live in their glory days. Now, cats like Johnny and Matt, I'm sure that they not them dudes. I know for a fact they not them dudes. But oh. a lot of them would rather these kids stay stagnant just like this because it helps them live in their glory days. When nothing you did, nothing I did in my band career, nothing Matt did, nothing Johnny did matters to these kids today. They don't care about none of that. They don't watch y'all clips anyway. That's what really kills y'all. See, that's, 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 the, that's the respect they level. Don't watch that's that. y'all fault, dude. But Burger, that's y'all no, fault. They no, like them. listen. No, First of is. all, what you gotta do, these kids today ain't nothing like what what y'all and what we was. They don't they don't want to do band. They don't want to do band for one. They don't want to do band. So basically, you running behind kids seven days a week. Johnny, a current band director right now, and and he can tell you in his band. He probably got a handful that really want to do band, and but everybody else just do it. That's every band, though. My point exactly. Back in but the day, like no, no, it was like that. I remember Mr. Ford told me you had your you had your good third, like your good core. Every band has their good core. 
they got they, they, they got they 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 living they living like oh I can't come to band practice today because I gotta watch my grandma she's sick or my mama say I can't come to band practice burger that was the case when we was in school look right? my mama say I gotta watch my little brother you be like what. Then you call the mama. Oh, yeah, he ain't he ain't gonna make it this week because I gotta work and nobody to watch my son. Burger, when, when, when we was in school, it was cats that had to, they would they would actually work on themselves and help take care of their families. But hold on, I won't go to the point. Burger say that he say that the older cats don't want to see the young. A lot of them, them no, 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 no. A lot of them, a lot of them are very, to be honest with you, they bitchy. And I don't, I really don't rock with a lot of them. Now the ones that I do rock with, we cool. We got we cordial. We got a lot of them old heads is real bitchy, and they like to get mad and then want to talk about nobody. Don't nobody not trying to fight y'all or take it to no level like that. But ain't nobody scared. Oh, you it's think like, of, you think some of them niggas not ain't, new, they ain't bitchy? Oh, most I could, definitely. Because I most know definitely. I know somebody. Most know definitely, but y'all, it's like I, I, when I'm saying this, I don't naturally mean y'all because we we all got relationships. We cool. Yeah. And the ones that rock with me know who I'm talking about. But it's a lot of them, bro, that do a lot of phony stuff behind the scenes and then try to make it seem like, oh, them young niggas disrespectful. No, indeed, bro. Now, they got disrespectful niggas from every era. So don't try to make it like the kids today just so disrespectful and they just so out of pocket towards you. Burger, they do you, so do, Burger you, really think, you really think you really think it's cats from our era that don't want to see these youngsters succeed, dude? Like, real oh, talk. Oh, most definitely, yes. I really No, yes. bro, that's real. That's yes. not, yes. no, dude. Oh, we, dude. Uh, man, yes. I, don't, I have never heard anybody ever say that, dude. Oh, and man, I was Let me that. tell you something. Let me tell you something. I can give you one right now. I have never heard y'all say nothing good about these kids. Even currently, I've never heard y'all say nothing good about them. I've always heard y'all bashing them. I've never heard none of y'all say but well. Say, dude, 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 no, I'm gonna give you something good. I just said. I just said when all y'all was saying, what's what's the name, Craig Ma? That little band right there. When y'all was saying they hung in there with Car, I just said Car skull dragged them. Like, like you wasn't I, I, out there in person. I'm not. Listen, listen. I don't want to drag Chalupa in this because Chalupa yeah. my dude. I'm not dragging Car and Chalupa in this. So this for another subject. We had to talk about that <laughs> off of, off of this live, but. Matt, you wasn't there. You, the people that was there, know what's up. I'm I can only to speak for me though. Like I'm speaking for me. And uh, man, listen to me. You know what somebody told me one time, and it tripped my head out. I heard a clip of Jackson State, and I was like, God damn, Jackson State was smashing on that clip. And you know what somebody told me? Man, you wasn't there in person. It wasn't all that. Then when you hit these bands in person and hearing them on the tape, it's something totally different. I'm telling you what I know. I was standing in front of both bands. And anybody else who was out there standing in front of both bands walked away with the same feeling I walked away with. Now, Chalupa, I respect Chalupa to the fullest because he got it out the mud at Cole. I respect him. But I was but saying, see, let me say, let me say this. Hold on, man. Man, let me say this. The one thing I want you to realize, Burger, is this. Nigga, when we was coming up, dog, like, no, nothing was given to you. So the way you the way you got better, a dude would just, like, when, I, when you say, like, disrespect, like, nigga, somebody would treat you like a pair of shit. Just to get you better, like yeah. like real like real shit. Like I think it's the the mindset of the culture. Like they would treat you like pure shit. Like when I, when I got when I went to Southern, we got treated bad, but that made us be like that really made us better. I think in this generation, they don't know how to they don't understand when somebody's actually trying to make them better versus being tough on them. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a big difference like, though. It's, it's a difference you, though. I'm gonna tell it's you. I'm gonna difference. tell you one more. I'm gonna tell you one more thing. Like. How you say those kids don't look up? That's the problem right there. You say those kids don't look up to nobody in the older era. They had cats that I looked up to when I was coming up. Like, they had e -Ron, they had Sweet Ron. Like, they had cats like Ronald Berry. A lot of Mellophone players looked up to Ronald Berry. Like, that was the dude. So, just like Yoshi. Yoshi don't understand the power he has in this new generation. They got a lot of cats that play in my band that be like, damn, that's Yoshi. Like, that's powerful. That they want to be, and you just that's the trend that's always been a trend in New Orleans. Like, they had they had niggas that was always they'd be like, Well, I want to be like them. And like, I got Jason, like, like Jamai, Jamai, he'll be like, Yeah, Yoshi could play. He looked up to Yoshi, you know what I'm saying? Like, he but Yoshi don't know that. But you, if you set a trend where as well, them old niggas don't care about us, it's go that trend go happen, and eventually, 
when Jemai and them get to like y'all age, that shit gonna be bad, worse. But that's that's the thing. Nobody teaches that to them. It's like it's like this because we not saying it, y'all don't think it's happening. I have a group chat in my phone as well as Yoshi, as well as anybody else in the younger generation, and we talking to these kids every day, communicating with them every day. Just because we not speaking on what we doing or speaking on what you know, they come to us and ask us stuff. And we can give them advice. Them kids are going to make their own choice. And like I heard, I want to uh, reiterate earlier what you was talking about, the tough love. and the, That was y'all back then. That worked for y'all. We got to find another way for these kids to date. Because at the end of the day, and you know it, Johnny, you a band director right now. They'll quit your band. You tell them, run around, give me three laps. They'll run to quit your band and run three laps. And I ain't even talking about paddling nothing. I'm just talking about if you yell at them too hard, they go home and tell their mama. You can't even put a disrespectful kid out your band because his mama going to come to the school, talk to the principal, and the principal going to come to you who don't run band. Your principal, you got principals trying to run the band. That don't work like that. If you hired me to be if your in, band if you, if you got a principal, If you got a principal that's trying to run your band, then you're a weak-ass band director. No, it don't work that's, like that. that. Is, First that's of all, true. that's your that's boss. No, that's, that's your nah, boss. Nah, Man, nah. look, I've, been, I've seen something. this. Let me tell you something. Don't put yourself in that situation. You don't know that's the situation. You don't Man, know that's the situation to you there. What you supposed don't to walk yourself. You done built these relationships with these kids. What you supposed to let do? Let me tell you something. Away? When because I move, you and your principal got wrapped. When I move, let me tell you something. Now, shit. I always like when I was when I was young being a band director, like, yeah, that shit. But when I start growing, it was more about the principal that I was with versus the school. If that makes sense. Like right. we about to like we about to change principles. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. The principal know what I want. You know what I'm saying? They know what I don't like. They know what I like. Like at some at some point, band a band director they gotta stand up. They gotta stand up and hold their ground. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't be no because first I you hear you because let me tell you something. Let me say this. Basically, no, 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 your no. job to tell your boss. So let me basically, tell you it's no nice way to tell your boss you the principal. But the thing is, I'm most, not trying most to of the principals principal. not most of the principals not don't know nothing about no fucking band, and they don't care about it. And that's the that's the attitude they have. I've literally, I'm not going to call it out. I don't know if the person watching. I've literally been around helping somebody with band. And the principal walked up on the band director and said, we don't do all that battling and stuff. That's too ghetto. I don't want my kid. And, and it blew my mind because I was like, you, what you, I, I had to, I had to, is she from New Orleans? I had to ask, is this lady from here? She don't know that's how this go. And then we thought that was the end. We get on the bus after the parade. She flashing. Cause I don't want to do all that ghetto stuff, and you got the kids in front of the other kids band, and they going. I'm like, man, this is this. You you fighting against the kids, you fighting against the principals, you fighting against the streets, bro. That's that's too much. When you got a principal that just don't respect that, what you do. Had that had that band director spoke with the principal, like what kind of relationship they had with the listen, principal? Because it seemed like that should have been discussed. Take, we, no, we gonna listen, listen. Do this. She re listen. Something. He didn't know her before he got this job. She found him. Heard about him, reached out to him. I already know. I know what you're talking about. But let me. She tell you, reached out to him. But let me tell you this. Begged him you, to come take over this program. But, but let me tell you this. Let me tell you how you say that. I had a battle with a band during next. I think the next parade or whatever. The band, the, the principal got mad because they marching units came in my in my kid's face, and my band song was blowing in their ear. Nobody told they fucking had to get right there. That's all. On he come, man. That's not how you battle. Don't come tell me how to fucking battle. I'm going to battle how I won't battle. Like, at some point, no. At some point, you got to be a man and you got to fucking stand your ground. You can't tell me how to fucking battle because you never did this shit. If you think, if you don't think I'm good enough to be, first of all, you're not my principal anyway. But if you, if you don't think I'm good, like, if my principal don't think, then I'll find someone else to go. At some point, you got to stand your own ground. That's like, easier said than done, but I do I do respect what you're saying, but that's, that's easier said than done, bro. Especially when you build relationships with kids, and then like you just up and leave them like that. That's 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 a whole nother can of worms there. You left? Oh, I left because my boss was tripping. Which and, and that's what wind up happening after all. What all that? It wind up happening anyway. <laughs> Cliff. <laughs> Cliff. <laughs> Cliff. <laughs> no, you talking about Landry Walker. Andrew Walker still got a school. <laughs> I know they've been at F school the last three years. 
And them ugly ass uniforms. They all got me in lower room without cheating on them tests no more. <laughs> they have been an F, F school the last four years. <laughs> they probably don't have a school come on. Oh, no. So, so like, I ain't gonna lie, when it come down to the two errors, for as, for as band, it, it's, it's, it's a lot of different stuff my, my band director had to go through that I had to go through. Like, I know I noticed a lot of stuff for I had to go through. But it's just that we had so much pride. Like, you couldn't tell me, like, I, I don't care what nobody say. Abe is the best band in the city of New Orleans. And everybody feel you, in full shape, you can't tell them full shape dudes nothing. Like, they've delusional. They, dog, <laughs> but they, when you high on pills on school all day, you don't know what's going on. You're not in the right frame of mind. You hey, man, I, I'm, I'm the wrong one to talk to about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not the right one to talk about that. Yeah, we don't need to get mad started. No, man. So, I'm, I mean, it's just like we just—it's just like that. It was just so much pride. Like that's a question y'all can answer right there, fellas. I can answer that. I I can answer that. The top five man directors from our era. Hey, Johnny, mm -hmm. let's go back and forth. I name one, you name one. Okay. Of course, Doc, that wouldn't happen. Doctor Walter Harris. <laughs> yeah, Doctor Walter Harris. Um, Edwin Hampton, of course. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Lloyd Harris. Ooh, Lee. Shit. Go over there to war. I gotta say, I gotta say, Elijah Brimmer, dog. Ooh. From the from the nineties. Oh, you said oh, nineties. Oh, you know, no, you say nineties. I thought he was just talking about his abandoner. Right? Go over no, the nineties. Go over there to Warren Easton. Uh, what about Warren Easton band number? They Tarragano. Had a very good band number. Yeah. Tarragano. I always, I always heard good stuff about that band when I was coming up doing band. Who? The guy who was at Easton in the nineties. Yeah, Tarragano. I mean, but dude, we had, we had, we had so many, we had so many respectable dudes, man. Honestly, man, so y'all can't name five. Five? Yeah, we just did. We easily did. Mr. Doc from my school, Mr. Hampton, Lloyd Boy Harris, Harris. Mr. Herman, Brimmel. Herman, Herman Jones. Herman Jones. I Let's mean, who Herman Jones from? 35. He got the latter part of 35. I think Lloyd Harris have, had, he had the beginning part of 35. Like the beginning of the nine. But look, check this out. I mean, which I don't, which uh, I, I mean, you got, you got like other cats like Will Rollins from the 90s was <laughs> tough. Um. Yeah. yeah, but he only had two years in the nineties, or three years. Well, uh, what, if that's the case, you uh, if that's the case. You gotta say her. What her? For John Mack. Yeah, you have to say in the nineties. Her was the shit. Boy, don't don't make you me. Can't her, you can't compare her. You can't. You can't compare her. You're right. You can't compare, you can't compare her. You right. You can't compare him. You can't compare. You can't compare. He in the league of his own. You can't compare <laughs> Gus Walker. I was going to say Gus Walker, but yeah. what I'm saying is you can't compare her. The perb I know when they the heard that talk was that sudden. That was a different. I'm herb. not listening. I'm not listening to you. Listen, y'all. So you don't, you don't, you don't like that one year. Thank that you, I heard you. It heard in the nineties from him going I'm the same way to John. Y'all not about to tell me Herb in y'all top five. No, I respect what he did, but he probably he's probably not in my top. In five. the nineties, though, in the nineties. He he did, he did, listen, John Mack's best bands was in the eighties. It's just not so John Mack though. Out, it's just John not John Mack. Best bands was in the eighties. So it's, it's just not and John Mack with her. And St. Mary's as well. And St. Mary's as well. Yeah. You have to give him that credit. I'm done. Well, I mean, I'm 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 gonna tell you something. I'm gonna give him that credit that he had two. He John Mack. I, I'm being real. John Mack was a baritone section, and that's it. Uh, but I respect what he did. But John Mack was basically a baritone section that year. And St. Mary's, like, I, I mean, I, I respect what they did. Like, I respect what they did, but... Would St. Like, Mary's have smashed Abe or Kennedy when y'all was there? When Herb no, was there? No. No. Different, oh, type, different, thing, different breed. Different type Saint, of breed. St. Mary's, Saint Mary's wasn't, was, is not a top five band to me. So, I mean... St. Mary's was smashed the calm now. Okay, Jared, I agree. I can say I that. I that. take that, Jared. I take that. That's what I'm saying. He, he, you gotta, I, I take that. A lot of dudes deserve an honorable mention. Like, just being real. Y'all heard you say? Yoshi say, you I say? can smell all the boosts that y'all doing on them sad-ass bands. Hold up. Yoshi, let me talk about the bands you was in. Oh, Yoshi was in. The old Perry Walker band you was in couldn't mess with no Pete Cretina band. Not. 
in the, in the corn band you was in? It couldn't, no mess, with con- the corn. It, it couldn't mess with New Orleans College Prep. <laughs> they could mess with Xavier prep, like they. they were... <laughs> but no, real. That was the one. That was one of the best bands after Katrina. Though, that band that Yoshi was in, or Parra Walker. Yeah, two thousand twelve. I yeah, heard some footage. It was nice. Like, it was a nice it was band. Coming. It was coming. But that other do one, he battled out I'm with the see If these people, okay, no, no, no. I, I got a question for for Matt and Johnny. Okay. What do y'all think that y'all can do to help these kids and better support these kids today? What is something that y'all think y'all can do better? Um, I think we could try to be more relatable. Um, I, I think, no, honestly, I think... let me tell you something. I'm, I'm glad you used the right word. I think you and Johnny are very relatable to these kids. And a few other cats <clears throat> in the uh, group are very relatable to these kids. But a lot of them dudes... I think we could do. I think we could do a better job. Like when when y'all when you okay, Johnny is arguing something systemically from his time, and you argue something that was that was that's just the deal right now. Like times are just different now. I I, I respect that. Band directors now are up against something that band directors just weren't up against when I was in school. Band yeah, directors like were not. Hey, Robin. No, we're not even. I'm talking about y'all talking about like school administration. Man, Doc did what he wanted at the K. They ain't nobody told <laughs> Doc what to do. Like I'm being real. Doc came and went as he wanted. Period. It wasn't. It was. So the fact that that you got band directors like being hounded by the school and stuff, and I'm certain Doc made some decisions that just wasn't popular uh, with people and everything else, man. So I think I think we can stand to, we can stand to do more realizing um, the fact that that times honestly are a little bit different, and and that we you know we 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 gotta I mean times different, times different, it, it's just different. Yo, should we? Can we add Yoshi to the? Can we add Yoshi to this show? Yeah, let's add Yoshi. What? Po- hey, let me tell you something. I oh, do. Hold I do want to say ask, this. You want ask, So you ask me that same. What can the older cast do? Yeah. Me, what do you, you think y'all something. can do? They have a lot of, to be real with you. They got a lot of more older cast involved in bands today than what you think. Like I, 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 I don't, I don't, <clears throat> I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree with that. My problem, like, okay, let me say this, like. Drummers from your era and my era, they super disrespectful. Like a lot of them are super disrespectful, dude, when it comes to these kids and what they doing and what they like. And then when these kids say, like they'll say, oh, y'all country, y'all look like them dudes from out of town. And then a minute one of those kids say, but everything y'all did was boring. They heartbroken. They feel disrespected because them kids saying, that stuff was boring. Y'all was just standing there playing on the drums. That's all y'all was doing. So let me and then say, let me say this. Hold up, Yoshi. Go to your um in, go to your inbox. I just added you and go and click on that link. Look, it took me. Let me say this. It took me a while to um to get accustomed to that new that new drum stuff. I'm not gonna lie. It was a certain way. For as drumming, I was used to. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was a certain way. That, or like the style, the perfection, and everything compared to that. I used to just thought that shit was just like uh, fucking Hot Boys beats. I, I used to right. say that a lot. Like that shit sound like nothing but Hot Boy beat. Like Man and Fresh on the fucking track. So I think that the drum shit, I think that shit, I think that needs to connect more. I think that is a disconnect, period, for the old drummers and the new drummers. Because yeah, because... I, they they like they kind of like they say that them young kids disrespectful, but they'll speak and just like bash these kids and say, "Oh, they country, they stealing from these dudes from Mississippi, and they doing this and they doing that." And then the minute one, so I'm telling you them, I don't I don't saw it in person when one of them kids holl out, but man, all y'all did was stand still and play like three four rudiments. Y'all really wasn't doing nothing. It it looked boring even when you watch it on tape. If they say that to one of them. Now they could have said 25 things about how they look like this person, y'all doing this country stuff and going off on them kids. The minute them kids give you a reason why they don't want to do that, and I keep telling dudes, any dude, I will give dudes uh, the opportunity. If they feel like these drum sections is not what they want them to be, go to those schools and teach the New Orleans stuff. 
That's what I'm saying. None of them are teaching. They on the internet saying what's New Orleans culture, but when they come to the school and they're not teaching it. And these jump sections hitting the streets looking stupid, so they reverting to the country stuff because these dudes are supposed to be legends and they come to these schools not teaching these kids. Okay, in, in that regard, Johnny, and you brought up a really good point, and I, I appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, there's so much that y'all just say. <laughs> um, I have a, I have a, I have a great appreciation for, I have, I have a great appreciation for what the kids are doing now, and obviously, I have a great appreciation for what we did. Um, but my, my, my issue now is I. And 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 what what is country drumming? Like that's that sounds stupid to me. I never understood. Like what is y'all y'all play y'all y'all play country? Like it's it's a rhythm. So that that's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, like this this rhythm is country. That's 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 that is one of the silliest things I've ever heard. Um, but we do be culture jacking. Like, but I, it, it, that's not that's not just my issue with New Orleans band. My issue with drum sections in general is they all look the same. They all play the same kind of cadences. They all play the same stuff. Like, I, don't, I wouldn't say the, that. I would not. No, I don't believe that. that. I mean, uh, uh, Byron, I'm not telling you what I think. I'm telling you they all play the exact same way. They all do the same exact sticking. I'm not even going to say they got uh, things evolve. I don't play. They're, they're a great drummer. I'm a I'm a I'm a professor as y'all would know, but I'm I'm a professional drummer by trade. Right. I don't play like the great drummers of uh of of the eighties and, and the seventies. I don't play like Dave Weckl and 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 and, and uh, Steve Gadd and somebody Billy Cobham, Dennis Chambers. I don't play like those cats, but they were great in their own right. With that, big, but things evolved. You know what I mean? Like, so no, no, nobody ain't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think anybody is wrong or anybody is right, but we basically just went jacked everybody else style and we looked like everybody else and we always looked and did different. Then I think that's what's most disheartening to, uh, I, okay. And we can just say, is is that have to it, didn't, it, it didn't evolve into another New Orleans thing. It evolved until now we look like everybody else and we came would, back. To it's not that you look like everybody else in your era. All them dudes was going to do one rip at Southern and come home. You got you talking today, about one school though. Listen, listen, and I, and, and I would never, listen, Byron, listen, Byron, today, you, you, you just been confused, Byron. The, You've been you bamboozled. Listen. You've been bamboozled and thinking <laughs> in our era, we bamboozled. were behind the times. In our era, we, we went to colleges and we became section leaders in the drum section. We that, cool that's with not that. what you I'm not I'm not taking that from you. What I'm saying is back in the day, the goal was to go to Southern. Let's just call it what it is. If you played a drum in New Orleans, anything, if you was in band in New Orleans in y'all era, the goal was to get into Southern University. And still to this day, you're not shit if you don't go to Southern University. Well, you fast forward to now, these kids going to Alcorn, playing bass drumming, getting on these drums, going to Jackson, going to Texas Southern, going to Tennessee State, going to Norfolk, going to all these colleges. Chalupa and his whole damn staff at one point was all graduates of Jackson State. What the hell did people expect for to happen over at Cole? He was supposed to make his band sound like Southern? I'm not tripping because they sound like Jackson sure. State. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not tripping because they sound like Jackson State. I'm tripping because we all sound the exact same way. Like there's no, there is no identity. There is no, I want to be I different from Landry them. Walker we, 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 you said you, but no, but you saying that you, Landry Walker don't play like a lot of these other cats. Say, but no, you said don't play like a lot of these other cats. They don't either. But look, they're, they're out, adapting. Saying, they are, they you, are adapting you, to this. You not, said they they adapt. Adapt. You, you saying they, they, we didn't want to be like everybody else. We wanted to defeat them. We didn't want to join them and be like them. We wanted to kill them. I, I, Man, I, I, I think uh, another cats thing. didn't just go to Southern when we was in school. You got cats like Joel on them that went to uh, Texas Southern, but they they never just denounced where he where he was from and our playing style. Man, like y'all, the say it's trash. Talk. You, we you, was I'm better than a lot of people in the nineties. Hey, y'all say that, but Joel went up to Texas Southern. With his New Orleans style and got shitted on, like he said numerous times, because he will be the first nigga to shine on them kids. I don't like that. It's backhanded. Don't say 
you you be the you be the first nigga in the percussion connection to tell a nigga from New Orleans that shit poo, that shit outdated. We need to be trying to do this, nigga. Well, won't you teach it to him? Cause you seem like you more with them other niggas than you with these people I, out I think, here. I think one of the things, dude. One of the things. I, I have a big problem with that. I've but, seen him. I've seen him do some stuff. Where I was like, damn, black. Is black from New Orleans? Like I'm tripping right now. But I'm gonna tell you this, bro. One of the things I hate that I hate that's going on in New Orleans is it seemed like. When I was coming up, New Orleans wanted to be New Orleans. Damn, why it's everything. New Orleans now, is still New Orleans. No, That's no, no, no. No, what I'm saying is, like, we wasn't trying to find out trying to be like nobody else. So I don't think, when, I don't when, think when, nobody when, trying to be like no, nobody. No, hold on, listen. So when you talk about, it's like I'm telling you, it, when I'm, I wasn't used to that drum section shit. I went to Southern and all that. So like I told you, it took me a while to adapt to that, to adapt to that shit. But... We was not, and I, I even as band director, like I, I be in band director thing. I hate, I hate when people be saying, "Well, we should be trying to be like, like the Georgia bands or the fucking te Texas bands." Well, the shit that we, everybody's trying to be like us. So why the fuck we trying people to be like are still everybody? Trying to be like us. That's what That's I'm saying. So missing, y'all so see that? But these bands still look up to these bands here. Ain't nothing changed from so y'all era. I'm not. I'm not saying they don't, but but we have assimilated a lot, and 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 I'm 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 merely talking about like the fact that that and back to the drum section thing. Like everybody plays and looks the same exact way. When I was in school, Abe didn't look like Kennedy, and Kennedy didn't look like Fosse, and Fosse didn't look like thirty. Well, thirty five kind of did look like thirty five. Kind of did look like Kennedy, but yes, that's you neither have. I, dude. I've seen it so many times. He has. I, I look, y'all don't have to keep it a hundred with him, but I will. I, I fool with black, but I black, seen right black, black just said something. Black just said something. I done seen black go in Joel, on these kids. Jo Joel just said, Look what Joel just said. And I know he good enough to get in any one of these schools if he was in the city and fix whatever he's talking about. But let's keep but, it going. But, but you know what, though? You saying that, but Joel was the same dude that went in the percussion group when they were saying dudes from the NO didn't have no, no chops. Him and Ben Andrews went up in there and represented heavy and shut all that you down. Got a lot of but New Orleans he did that in there. the name of New Orleans. Of, you got a lot of niggas from New Orleans that go in there and shut stuff down. Not just snare drummers. But I are we for, speaking on Joel specifically? You called up. his name, so I called his name. Huh? Jo Joel knew his shit, though. Joel don't stand up for the city. Joel do stand up for the city. He went up in that group. Him, Ben, him and Ben went up in that group and uh and they did their thing. Now I'm, I'm Juice, gonna, I'm gonna I do this. agree with that. I agree with that. West Jeff and Carl basically so laid the foundation for everybody drum. So shit. let me tell you that. Let me say I was just about to say something about Bell. Because I used to ask Bell, me and Bell used to talk. I'd be like, Bell, why the fuck you do that stupid country shit? This is when he was at West Jeff. Barrow told me something that made a lot of sense. I ain't never think about it the way he said it. Barrow was like, he said, I could I could do the city shit. But you said, what, what happens when I go up against these other these out of town bands? So that's what he did. He was like, what happens when I go up against the out of town? So I understood his point why he had a drum section doing it. And that made me think about, well, maybe I'm maybe um hindering my kids to be better uh, all around. All nation drum section. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because the, our kids leave here and go to these colleges and can't get drums. More our so kids. So you don't think in our era, you don't think in our era, Cash was going not going to get drums at colleges. Folks was going to get drums at Southern. Duh, oh, that, that's oh. not what I'm saying. You think oh, that's the only school, dude? Oh. This dude, Chef Ross, that's in the group right now. He went got a drum at at Gremlin. Gremlin drum section is fire. Believe it or not. They are, they are one of the, they are one of the best drum sections in the school. Yeah. Yeah. The You're talking about on bass drum, went to uh, Jackson State, didn't get a drum? Y'all know what I'm saying? Who, whoever. Oh, uh, no, in, in the back, back, back in our era. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> oh, no. I know all these bass drummers today go get drums. Man, the bass drummers today go get drums at Jackson, All Coins, Southern, everywhere. I know don't a couple of cats. I know a couple of like cats about. that went to Southern playing drums that's kind of like feeling the new stuff. They go branded boy. <laughs> but look, uh, uh, the only thing I don't like about the drum sections, and I, I, I like the individual like battles between snare drum players. Like I, I the one one thing I never forget is when Aaron Wilkes and um 
I think Eddie Christmas went at it at a game. Like I like just like just them two going at it. They, they, they was going at it across the field. They don't do that no more. I don't. I, I like the individual things. For yeah. the section going like the section like the snub jump section got to go at it with the snub jump section versus like they best versus that. They to best me, I only that. ever that shit was like tight to me. The only the only thing I ever see. <laughs> hold on, Burger <laughs> Brooks. What are the requirements as a percussionist to get in college? <laughs> Basically, you just answered the question. You have to be a percussionist. Because niggas be bass drum players. Do you know what a percussionist singing. is, dude? Like, like, yeah, they can play everything. They can, you can do it all. Yeah. First, you got to no, know your first party. Let, wait, your first but party. I'm saying, though, let me, let me, let's, let's have a little English party real quick, dude. Like, and, and somehow, dude, like, we've made the word percussionist mean something like it was a a more advanced drummer dude a percussionist is simply somebody that doesn't play uh is not playing the drum set so a, a dude just playing snare drum technically by definition is a percussionist so just so we get that together um a percussionist is, is cool not what a percussionist something i don't know where the comment went I don't know either, but a percussionist is not a more advanced drummer. So let if we could stop saying that, like that's that's just a percussionist is basically but I know, anybody so, that's not playing drums. But I drums know dudes there. that can only play their one drum, and I know dudes that can play multiple drums. I know cats that can play multiple drums. I mean, I listen. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I was a snare drummer, and I played. I mean, I played multiple drums. I'm not, I'm not knocking. Listen, Burger. Let me say this. I'm not knocking dudes because they want to. They, they uh, over what style they want to have. Um, but rudiments could be applied no matter how you play. If you use the molar technique, if you straight up and down when you play, if you whip when you play, rudiments right. could be, could be, could be played no matter what style. Uh, That's it true, is. but a lot of you a played. lot of it, y'all wasn't playing it back then. Though. We wasn't playing it back then because things evolved. Right. Like th th there are more rudiments now. Like I, I, them dudes definitely play cadences that are more complex. Uh, that are more complex than than what we played back in the day. But right. but but the, the it said when when cats talk now, cats speak like we were just less advanced or less. No, yeah, that's that's the, I, don't, I don't believe no, that. Me, a lot of, we were we we ain't just started going to other colleges and and flourishing. And I'm not just talking about uh, Southern. I'm talking about period. We always went to colleges and flourished. I understand so if that, I was back then, school, that's what I'm saying. See, when I said that, the goal was to go to Southern. Let's just call it what it is. And y'all era, not for everybody. Southern, if you didn't go to Southern, you was not that dude. I didn't saw these conversations way too many times. Now, Mia, you, I didn't go to college, so I don't want to say you didn't go, but Johnny went to Southern, and we know back back then, if you didn't go to Southern, you were sad. Me and dog, you have all we seen, knew, that's what all they we say, knew, all that's what they Southern say, me and you have seen so but that's, many, but, but, but that's all we knew was Southern and Grand, you can't compare, like, all I knew was Southern and Grand, like, that's Dude, all I saw. I can name so many dudes from the city that went to some Herman Herman from the Cape went to Jackson State got sn got section lead on Snudrum. I'm not saying that they didn't. I mean, I could I'm just saying well, back in y'all days, Southern was the goal. But because we didn't, we wasn't exposed to that shit like they are now. We didn't have you too. But because right. we didn't have that's what I'm, that's have all I'm trying to get Matt so, to see. Back then, yeah, they went to other. We wasn't exposed but to today, that. Today, they not even Southern, not even first choice. These dudes, not even, they not even looking at something to go play. But I guess they if they have fucking YouTube and all that, they still, it would still be something, dog. They, it's just that the YouTube over oh, the I that. Book everything team. else. Just, just like, I'm going to give you an example. Miguel, when Miguel, he went to Alabama State and Miguel went to Miles. He took a lot of kids to Miles College. That, that was another avenue for them. Them kids didn't know nothing about Miles until Miguel told them something about Miles. You talking about in the area where most of the band directors was from Southern. So a cool. <laughs> what do you say? I can't. You, you, you. The volume went on on your phone, Burger. Somebody oh, in the comments. Somebody in the comments on the chat said, "Yeah, most hated Gramlin because of that big ass, that big ass bass drum." <laughs> <laughs> and it still got it. Burger, the sound went out on your phone. 
They say burger. They say you was on that bass drum. You the one. You the one that oh, <laughs> that that carried the bass drum in the middle of the field. Say, bro, can you imagine being the one? You, I mean, no. like being the dude. Say, bro, the dude we that got to carry the. Just imagine who who I wonder if you know the dude that carried the bass drum that got to pull that drum. No, he couldn't Boy, be from New Orleans, dog. He could not have been from New Orleans. Dog, I never. Dog, bro. He could not have been. From you got to go put that drum. You done went all the way to the universe. Tell John, tell, tell Burger to drop back out and come in. Because it's Drop back out, Burger, come back in. You, you can't hear you. Dog, just imagine if you were the dude that had, and you were from New Orleans. Like, you really couldn't, you really would right. so, Somebody <laughs> see you on the Bayou Classic. They see you on the Bayou Classic. Uh, on TV, NBC, <laughs> national television, and that's gonna be the year. That's gonna be the year. Your face right on the camera. Dog, the, 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 you done went all the way to college, and they didn't issue you a band uniform and dog, everything else. You'll be forever be a will pull. <laughs> you, you might as well get you a long move. <laughs> Bruh, that, I mean, like, no matter what, man, like, like, casket, like, just go YouTube you and Google you. And then you know somebody gonna be petty and, like, save that. Like, you can't never get, dude, you pulled the bass drum in college. <laughs> like, dog, what about this dude was talking shit? Be like, say, dog, like, all right, say, y'all, so I'll be waiting shit. for Burger, aka Teddy Riley, to come back. Let's bring on <laughs> our special guest, Mr. Terry Fryston, because he's gonna tell us about a special initiative that is happening for the graduating seniors that are going to play in college bands in the fall. Okay. What up, you guys? How y'all doing? What's going on, Terry? How you making up? Right? I'm enjoying that conversation because I know somebody who was on the rolling bass drum at Grambling by the name of Kirk House who played... No, Kirk ain't pulled it. Kirk no, he pulled it. it. He played it and carried oh. it. He said he carried it too, he said. But I can't talk about Kirk. Boy, hey Kurt, 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 if you on here and if you really pull Kurt, that, shit, <laughs> Kurt, we go, we go, I gotta say you. But I got I didn't, uh, I never knew Kurt. They must have been hazing that man. I don't uh, listen. <laughs> that, that was that was that was that that's not cool. <laughs> um, we, need to, we need to speak with, uh, with, with, with But I gotta uh, tell y'all about this initiative we're doing for the new generation, Burger. Uh, me and Robin had a conversation and we came up with a plan. You know how they're doing the adopt a uh, college student for the class of 2020, like college alumni adopting uh, seniors, high school seniors? So we're going to adopt the seniors that's band heads that's going to a college scholarship. So they're submitting where they're going. and we're going to create a care package for them. So they're going to submit to us where they're going. Like if they're going to Jackson State, we're going to create a care package for them to send them off right. It's only right because they don't, they, they seen it was uh, tarnished. So, you know, over this COVID stuff. So we're going to try and get everyone, all the band heads involved, all the old heads, all the post Katrina cats to come chip in and uh, send these kids off right for 2020. So what y'all think about that? I'm all in. Yeah, that's all a good plan. What um what what it ideally how much would y'all like to see everybody give? Uh we're still working on a dollar amount. We'll we'll uh we'll announce that later on. Everything is still in the work. But we came up with that idea inspired off of that adopt a student, adopt a senior. Uh we gotta send these kids out right because basically their 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 senior year was cut short right after four season. Hey so, bro, this dude that just got drafted. It's a percussionist and played in Pace Academy Band, Andrew Thomas. I just saw that on TV. So that dude played full. full hey, I will say this. I show. got a few. I, 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 I know a few of them that I'm interacting with every day that most definitely want to. They, they go into college. They, they hungry. They ready to go. So I know yeah. a few Wait, of them. Wait. I need to clear something up real quick. Kirk House never pulled the drum. I just got <laughs> well, caught. Played it. <laughs> Somebody just told me that. Chef <laughs> went to Grambling said that man never pulled no drum. I, see, so I, I, could, could, I wouldn't dude. let the record show that man <laughs> never did that. I'm, and I'm just the and I, pulled the drum. I know you Kurt House pulled the drum. And, bro, that man never did that. So that needed to, that needed to be said. But yeah, uh -huh. um, we, it, dude, 
I'm I'm all in on that, man. Let, just let me know. Give me my charger, Bryce. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we want to talk a little bit more about the combine. Um, the combine was supposed to happen at Kennedy this year. Of course, it got canceled. Uh, last year, we 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 gave forty kids came, forty kids auditioned, and forty kids got scholarships, full scholarships. And we had uh, wow every college come down. And audition Grambling, Talladega, uh, Jackson State, Langston, and it was given scholarships on site. Now we did have a student come there and audition, and instead of having a prepared piece, they played PYT. What school it came from? I I, I, I don't want to. I'm gonna keep. That. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell what school it came from. I'm gonna just say that it came from across the river. So that's all I'm gonna say. That's cool. I got I got one you can donate to uh Papa. <laughs> hey, let's do it right here. Hey, legend Papa. Yeah, so Why you looking at the combine. And then um, of course the Battle of New Orleans have been moved to May 2021. Uh oh, the we bullet, we gonna, gonna, they dodged the bullet that day. They dodged we the gonna, bullet. We gonna we're gonna we're gonna, gonna we're gonna shit on y'all, uh Burger. I'm sorry, Drop. Terry. No, uh, hold up, hold up, hey, hey, hold up, hey, hold up. Hey, hold up, Cliff. Now, I could be, I could be dirty, cause I know where the kid went. School the kid went to play PYT. It's only one school. It's only one school they played PYT last year. I'm gonna just be real with you. I, I know the school that played PYT. <laughs> Talking about, hey, hey, man, play PYT. I know who did. Yeah. I know who I'm played just, PYT. I'm just keeping it confidential. Uh, Let's just say Miguel called that band director and that band director chewed that kid out and he came in and played a prepared piece. Like he was supposed That's to. Be. That's what's up. So, but uh, let's talk about this battle of New Orleans 2021. They're going to lose. Ain't nothing okay. to talk about. Y'all lost. Y'all, y'all lost. I'm talking about the band. Y'all lost before it started. I would, y'all execution is off. Y'all don't execute right. Y'all okay. hitting sour Ooh. notes is okay these days. That was Ooh. never okay when I was in school. That's fine. Okay. I, I, I'm not arguing with you to say you're wrong. I ain't gonna I'm lie, not about to argue it. and say you're wrong. We, you're going to see. I'd rather I just say you're going to see. Man, I ain't going to lie, though. I was trying to sort I have, a, I have, I do this with my band sometimes. Like, I get on the horn with them and, like, talk about, like, like be like, man, you sad on your horn. Like I, and I, I say, you, you think you better than Mr. Van Buren? I get, and I get on the horn and play a song with them. So I, I, I call myself doing that to my baritone section this year. And um, you have the best baritone section in the city. And I'm then say, it was Booker T. And and then and then I got on the horn, and I'm and I'm real strong on baritone. No lie, like I'm real strong. I got on that UFO. Oh, got it out you. It's a different animal, dog. Like seriously, <laughs> like I'm not gonna sit up here and lie. And I said in my mind, I said, "Bruh, I don't know." Because <laughs> 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 them, them dudes be pushing, and I usually could push on the baritone. Hey man, I was getting tired. I just seen a comment. The comment said, "All old legends want to do is play loud and prove me wrong." That's a stupid. So, ass so you, that, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even address that stuff. I won't go back to Mellow Yoshi comment because I don't address that. <laughs> anybody, anybody say we ain't got comment in the in the, in the hey, open. Let me ask you a question, man. J- uh, Johnny, was Mike and Martin with y'all? Where? For uh, old legend. Probably. Yeah, Mike was on. Yeah, Mike was, was, was Bunny Martin with y'all on F one. Yeah, Bunny Martin. You know, Bunny be about that. Oh, we good. We ain't got nothing to worry about. But you gotta worry about the other question. <laughs> you got nothing to worry about. Yeah. You gotta worry. You gotta worry yeah, about. Bunny and Mike Mike on my boys out. We good. Hey, bro, you gotta worry about other cats You almost know about though. That's the one thing I, about. Bro, this is the yeah. thing. Let me tell y'all something. I don't. It's a lot of y'all that I knew before I actually interacted with any of y'all in that group. I knew a lot of y'all because of word of mouth. That's why a lot of dudes that claim this legendary goat status and how great they was. The dudes that was great. They so what, didn't have what to is, say it. Other dudes say it for them. What like is a goat? Matt, what is, what like is a goat? Ben, like all these dudes, I ain't going to go down the list, but I'm just being honest with you. I what is considered, y'all before what is, I knew who y'all were. What is considered a goat in, in New Orleans being a bad person? What is a goat? 
What, what is, I guess what is have the a goal? section in All-Star Band for y'all, Eric, because that seems to be the goal. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. There wasn't no All-Star Band when I was in school. Wasn't no yeah, All-Star Band. Yeah, when, yeah, when, but, when I was in school. It wasn't yeah. when I was in school, but 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 in, when I was in school, we had got things together, and a lot had been established. So we didn't. Dudes we didn't, really we, use. Dudes literally tell me I, if you wasn't sexually, you wasn't good. That blows my mind. But hey, that's not true. Argue, that's not true. I can't argue with them dudes that say that, and they be serious. What, they claim to fame and sexually the status thirty years ago. What consider you, you a goat? What we'll consider you a goat? What we'll consider to me? The goats are the dudes that don't never have to speak on their skill. It's done for them. You yeah, I agree with that. Goats are yeah. spoken for. They don't speak they self. That's why I tell people all the time. Dudes will tell me flat out, get mad at me and say, how you the spokesman for bang and you not good and never heard me play a horn a day in their life. They I only go, never heard me play a horn. And then when they do hear me play a horn, they say, oh shit, that nigga can play. Because for five <laughs> years, you done sat in a group <laughs> And heard 20 people tell you I couldn't play. So is Yoshi a goat? Is Yoshi a goat? Most definitely Yoshi a goat in this era, but they got some young dudes that even Yoshi himself would tell you. Like Raheem, Goon Raheem, that went, Raheem, Raheem is on his way to be. Raheem a, is the best F horn player currently in New Orleans right now. So I, this is what I think a goat is. So because they got dudes that like a lot of y'all cats, they don't be on the internet they, that y'all never heard of. Like I consider somebody a goat. Like let's let's say like band directors, like Edwin Hazard is a goat. Quitting years, he didn't did his time. He 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 changed the face of New Orleans. Yeah, he did. Wil Wilbur Rollins, he changed like certain things in New Orleans. Like you know what I'm saying? I consider those that type of guy. Like I consider Javon and JP goat. Javon is most definitely a goat. J JP, J J J JP, JP was a goat when he was doing it in his no, time. No, 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 no. Still a goat. But but no, let's talk about. As as a high school student, let's talk about that. Yeah, what I'm saying. As a high school, that's what I say. As a high school student, JP was a goat, but Jared, Javon is currently still a goat. Jared Powell is a goat. Hey, let me tell home. you something. And I wanted to say that they said we got five minutes left. I don't know if anybody noticed, but I always hear them throw trumpet player name out there, and I never hear Damian and Ricardo Emilia name throw. Oh no, I was about. To, I always say Ricardo. And I know they will wax yeah. the shit out half of these dudes. Oh no, they Ricardo and Damien, that's them dudes is goats. No, I was much into that. Yeah, they, and they, they humble. Play. I heard both of them play. Boy, and I was amazed. Boy, Damien ain't humble, boy. <laughs> Damien, not no more. Damien, Damien not, tell you, he, he tell you, tell you. Now Ricardo, Ricardo, Ricardo cool as a Ricardo and, taught a lot of these kids too. You know what the crazy thing is? Ricardo, I, if I'm not mistaken, Ricardo, tell me if I'm wrong. He ain't start playing the trumpet till tenth grade. He had the best coin band ever. He had the best coin band ever. If you listen to coin band under Ricardo, yeah, that was the best I ever heard coin wow. in life. Dad, Dad, put down. My stuff is about to die. Daddy, I need a card. No, yo, see, okay, let me let me address that. Look, I'm not addressing that. Because I'm, I'm gonna let y'all do it. I'm not doing it. I'm about to okay, I'm, I'm gonna deal with it. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that straight out. Um when when I, I have in that process in that process I don't think I don't think that that you was being disrespectful um Yoshi I had a chance to go back and look at that and and um and what you said like you basically was like it didn't sound good um I think I think just the mere mention of it was that Mr. Bremer thing and it was like you made it seem like they were showing some the fact, the thing that made it seem like you was being disrespectful, is the fact that you made it seem like the way they sound when they played those songs meant meant that they didn't care about Mr. Bremo as much. That's that's the way a lot of them took it. But, now your comment, your comment wasn't disrespectful. Bro, no sure but but, but other on. people. Other people came back and said some stuff that was kind of disrespectful about Mr. Brimmer. And while I'm not a Foshi alumni, I didn't care. I, I, I didn't I don't I didn't particularly care for some of the other stuff. But your your comment made people think that you were saying that because of the way it made them think it because people still emotional over that. It made them feel like you correlated the way they sound to how much they cared about Mr. Brimmer. And they took great offense to it. I think also Yoshi, I like I told I called you and told you. I say like 
I think a lot of people take that, that everything that's being video needs to be criticized. And I don't feel like that. Like that wasn't a that wasn't something that needed to be criticized because like that was people coming together doing something to send off their band director. Um you shaking, I'm telling you, like everything in need, everything's not need to be so if and I feel like this, if you always run about like in a sentimental moment like that, people you don't know how people emotion is, especially while they playing also. Like so at that moment, like if if we far die, if it will die. Like they have a big band, like people just happy to play for the, the last respects to play. Some people have been on horns yeah. for years, like so. You gotta like certain things. You gotta kind of watch. I, and I told you that certain things that always need to be criticized, like. But you know, y'all young niggas, that's what y'all do. Y'all think y'all want to criticize everything. And if a nigga pull up y'all tapes, nigga be criticized. I mean, I mean if, if you could, yo, if you could imagine this, imagine a dude trying to. That could sing real, real well. He could really sing. Now imagine that dude trying to sing a solo at his mama funeral. Man, it's not gonna sound that good. Cause that dude in a million pieces. Like, so I don't know, man. No, Keith, Keith, Mr. Brian Washington was was great. He we were talking about band directors in the 90s. Mr. Washington did his student teaching at Abers in my freshman year, which was 97, 98. Mr. Wa Mr. Washington. Was was inspired me as a saxophone player, and he made McMahon what it is today. And what people don't realize is that a lot of band directors that from McMahon came under Mr. Brian Washington. So yeah, he he is much respected, Mr. Washington. A lot of people don't know about Mr. Washington because he's quiet. He don't say too much. Right, right, right. Y'all can hear me. Mm -hmm. I do want to say for our next show, and I just want to put it out there because I see we got people watching. Y'all not gonna like a lot of stuff I got to see. Same. Because look, not y'all, man. I'm talking no, about he, he talking directors about... and people on here. Because I'm that dude, I don't care. What I say on here, I can say it in, in you know in your face. But what I'm saying is a lot of what I say gonna rub people the wrong way. Cause my what I say rub dudes the wrong way already. So I'm just letting y'all know. That's all I gotta say. Same here. And you know what? I mean, honestly, man, with people getting rubbed the wrong way, it's an opinion. Like at the end of the day, man, like it's an opinion. Like, so as long as you don't say anything disrespectful or uh, nothing is said disrespectful about a person. Right. I mean, dude, I, I, I play music for a living. And so when I when I play music, I present myself to people to be judged. So, I mean, people are going to have an opinion about that. As long as you're respectful of me as a man, then I mean, your opinion about me playing is my your. It's your opinion. I mean, I sound I, that get mad, man. Just as long as the opinion is not based in disrespect. That's band started getting bad because dudes started caring about opinions of other dudes, and even in our group. So that's the way. I just think sometimes opinions, some people, opinions run the group. I just think sometimes if somebody say you was sad or you wasn't good or you didn't have section, that hurt dudes today, and that kills me because. In 2020, it don't matter if you was in a hole every parade. None of it yeah. matters today. It's gone. You shit, can't get it matter, back. Boy. You uh, cannot man. get it back. That shit matters. You in the 12th grade. You in the 12th grade in the hole. Oh, that shit matter. Nigga, that shit matter. Catch me in the hole in the 12th. If you in the hole in the 12th grade, you need to shoot you yourself. A, you a junior high school. <laughs> and you, 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 trying to, you trying to figure out your way. To get out from nah, bro, that that don't. And then Kennedy had a big band. Thirty five when I was in school was marching a ten man front, bro. You in the eleventh grade and you in the middle of ten people? Nah, <laughs> no sir. Nah, That's bro. not that. You look nuts. <laughs> These trenches are way different from your era. I was down. Keep, I know. Keep, keep been there. You need to keep. You need to come on All right, next time. So this is the end of the first show. We want to we want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh oh. You in the 12th grade and they never roll off a cadence so ever. My bad. Any last <laughs> words that our panelists want to share with I'm a part of the drum section. Audience. We all look good. Before we go. Quick. The only, only, only people get away with that the people on that front row, the trombone room. It, it no, old. you are you in a ain't no I'm in a drum section that we all look good. You look bananas. You in a you we got are, some listen, little dude listen, listen. just came from listen. fantasy the, and he on a, the he brought the next to the end. I noticed about band and people don't understand this. When the band cranking up, 
they is pointing at everybody, even the dude in the hole. When we smash it as a whole, boy, nobody won't be in no motherfucker. Nobody, Bergman, that's that new age. And I got, I got everybody you, get a participation trophy era. Bro, ain't no way. You no got something to do. No no when we you got something to do that was in elementary school three years ago, and this man the third, in the hall, he's marching. The third, no, he's not. This is important as the first. The third is just as important as the first. Just important as the first. But if you don't start from, nobody wants to be in the hole. If you want, you if you look nuts, nuts, bro. I'm telling y'all, no. you look nuts. No. no, I have never played Burger. double trombone in my life. I would no. love to if they need me to. Robin, the, the, Robin, the, were you marching in the hole when you was in when you was a senior? Now like, let's keep it real. I never Burger. marched in the hole. I don't know what that feels like, but I never. Marched. I will say, I don't. I, I wouldn't have cared. I would have been happy to be a part of the sport. Shit, I would have cared. I wouldn't care. Yeah, right. I, I would have cared. Listen, let me yeah. tell you something. And it's the God on the truth. Any dude that ever marched with me know this. I had section my senior year at club. Of course they not. They had a dude who was, he was good, of but he course. just couldn't read music. It's not. And a dude quit because it was my first year at the school and I got section. He All wanted right. to quit the band. And I told the band director, you got give him enough in. I don't care. Say, I bro, have, it, have, it, I don't have care. a section at like, club that's in like, how hard of in life. He in wanted life. to see that age. Because he been there. I just got that, took his spot. And he would ready it's to quit. Clock, that shit not hard to do. It's that clock, shit not hard bro. to take a nigga, a nigga clock, fucking dude. section that clock. Oh, it don't matter. It's he clock. got pants come from everywhere. It's clock, dude. It's, you got pants come from everywhere. It's clock, dude. No, bro, but we, but at the end of the day, now, let's not get carried away, Burger. It's, it's, it's clock, big brother. Like, let's, right, let's not look, get. You say what you want. All right, y'all. Wait a I know what I did, and I know what we did in our time. I no, I'm not talking about you. This is not an attack on you, but I mean, you said I marched that clock. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I like, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. I ain't, look, you ain't nothing to tell me about clock. I'm proud of that. John said, yeah. rest in peace. That man put me on a horn in the sixth grade, and I'm forever thankful. Yeah, yeah. I'm thankful. Man, clock. All right, y'all. While we got a break, listen. Sure, we got we a had saxophone a great show. player. We gotta go. A saxophone, a snare drummer, two trombone players. Miss Robin knew what she was doing. She invited another trombone player. Yeah. And you know what thing, Burger? You know this. You know these. <laughs> you know what you know, she was doing when she did this. Look, look. You know, you used to give us the trombone part, the saxophone part, to give we us the trombone hit part. We can't hear him. We, we can't hear him. Oh, y'all don't want him. We can't hear John. We got to wrap up, y'all. Hey guys. Hey guys, we gotta wrap it up. We got Johnny. Hold on, Robin. Thursday. Robin, hold on one more thing. What? Next show, put nah, put that Robin, motherfucker burger. Johnny. Put burger in the hole. Put yes, burger in the hole. Put that burger in the hole. All right, y'all. We gonna see y'all next week. Bye. Love y'all. Y'all be easy. Bless us everybody. Way. Peace. Peace. Peace.